Hello my dear friends how are you all doing it has been a long long time since i have done a video just got busy with other things in life you know how it is right the other day i came across these beautiful handmade papers lying with me and this got me thinking whether i could recreate this in a simple way i experimented and this is the result that i got I really love the look of this and so thought of making a tutorial and sharing the simple technique with you all. For this process all you need is watercolors and copy paper. And of course tissue to wipe your brush clean on, a round brush and a glass of water. It's a very simple technique so let's jump into the process. We take the copy paper and crumple it like so. Then open it and lie it flat on the table or the surface that you're working on. Decide on the color that you want to use and sprinkle some water on that color cake. I am going to experiment with two colors on this one. First, I am taking yellow and I am going to dab the brush all over like so. Does not matter if some areas are left white. In fact, I like some areas of white to be seen in between. Next, I will pick up the second color that is orange and I go dab 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 in the same manner that I did with the yellow covering the entire page. You will see that the pigment settles in the creases created in the crumpled paper. You can try this technique with acrylic colors or gouache or any other water based colors and I'm sure they will give you equally good results. Leave this to dry completely. I'm going to do one more showing you the same process. This time I'm going to use the color brown. I'm going to fast forward this part a little bit so, th so as not to bore you all. While you watch me go dab dab dab, I will take this moment to thank you all for always encouraging me and leaving me comments below. If you are interested in more such ideas and techniques, you can subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon so that you can get notified of my next upload. I found this process very addictive and I did a few more off camera using different colors. I'm going to let all this dry and come back in a while and compare it with the original handmade paper that I showed you all in the beginning. I'm back and you can see the output. Do you think it is similar to the base paper? The texture, the color and the feel of the paper is different but yet so similar. Do let me know in the comments section whether you'll like the result or not. I personally loved it and my mind is already ticking with ideas on how to use this paper. You can use it as signatures in your junk journals or as a background in your art journal page. Here is a close up of the dried pages and you can see how the pigment has settled in the creases thus giving this beautiful effect. What more can you do with these papers? Here are some more ideas on how you can use these papers. Here are some simple tags and the sentiments are either handwritten or uh, taken from newspaper cuttings. 
a book corner made from the same paper and decorated with a hand painted flower. As more ideas keep coming, here is one pocket that I made from this, the same paper. These flowers were hand painted by a dear friend and I am going to preserve them in this pocket. Finally, an envelope with a lace attached at the bottom. Get going and try this technique. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, bye-bye.